now coming on to the last topic of circuits and systems that is filters filters are of two types active filters and passive filters but before knowing filters let us know about a network being symmetrical and unsymmetrical a network is said to be symmetrical if we have elements which are symmetrically placed means if you put a mirror here it will be like symmetrical image can be obtained similarly this is a t network this is a pi network they are symmetrical networks and this is not a ladder network but one more element has been added r1 here r1 the starting resistance and then r2 here then r2 here r3 here and r1 here then it becomes a symmetrical network otherwise a ladder network r2 r ladder which has been shown here is an unsymmetrical network similarly when the values are different when the values are different then they are unsymmetrical networks in filters we shall be concentrating only on the symmetrical networks now let's see the definition of a filter a filter is a circuit which is capable of passing or amplifying certain frequencies it can be a range of frequencies while attenuating other frequencies again a range of frequencies now what does this mean this sentence means जिस तरह से चाय का एक छन्ना होता है टी स्ट्रेनर जिसमें चाय के पत्ती को अलग कर देता है और चाय बाहर आपके प्याले में आ जाता है ठीक उसी तरह से फिल्टर एक ऐसा सर्किट है एक ऐसा चाय छानने वाला स्ट्रेनर है जो जिस भी फ्रीक्वेंसी को आप रखना चाहते हैं उसको आप निकाल कर बाहर रख सकते हैं उसको यूज कर सकते हैं और जिन चीजों को आप रिजेक्ट करना चाहते हैं जैसे चाय पत्ती को आप रिजेक्ट करके फेंकना चाहते हैं उन चीजों को आप अलग करके निकाल कर बाहर फेंक सकते हैं तो हमारा ऐसा कोई सर्किट हो जो कि कुछ फ्रीक्वेंसी के रेंज को ही अलाउ करे अपने थ्रू पास करने का और उसको न केवल अलाउ करे बल्कि एम्पलीफाई भी कर सके तो वैसे सर्किट का नाम हम देते हैं फिल्टर और एटिन्यूएटिंग अदर फ्रीक्वेंसी का मतलब क्या है कि उन फ्रीक्वेंसी को दबा देता है दो फ्रीक्वेंसी आर एटिन्यूएटेड so basically a filter is something which permits a certain range of frequency to pass through and does not permit the other range of frequency to pass through that's it now what will be an ideal filter an ideal filter must be such that it should have zero attenuation in the pass band or transmission band kehne ka matlab jo cheez bhi wo pass karna chahta hai uske andar कोई भी बीच में एटिन्यूएशन ना हो कोई भी उसमें सिग्नल में ह्रास ना हो सिग्नल की कमी नहीं महसूस हो दैट इज नोन एज एन आइडियल फिल्टर दिस कैन हैपन इफ द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ ए फिल्टर आर डिसिपेशन लेस कहने का मतलब इफ द एलिमेंट मींस इफ यू आर ओनली हैविंग इंडक्टर एंड कैपेसिटर एंड दे आर प्योर इंडक्टर्स एंड कैपेसिटर विदाउट हैविंग एनी रेजिस्टिव एलिमेंट जो भी डिसिपेशन होता है वो रेजिस्टेंस में होता है इफ द रेजिस्टेंस इज नॉट देयर देन दैट पर्टिकुलर सर्किट इज नोन एज ए डिसिपेशन लेस सर्किट दैट इज इट्स ए प्योरली रिएक्टिव सर्किट वेदर इट कैन बी एन इंडक्टिव सर्किट और इट कैन बी ए रिएक्टिव सर्किट इट कैन बी ए कैपेसिटिव सर्किट नाउ कमिंग ऑन टू सम ऑफ द टर्म व्हिच इज एसोसिएटेड विद अ फिल्टर वन इज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इम्पिडेंस नाउ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इम्पिडेंस इज जनरली फॉर ए ट्रांसमिशन लाइन एंड इट इज बेसिकली द रेशियो ऑफ द इम्पिडेंस आर प्लस जियो मेगा एल एंड टू द कंडक्टेंस जी प्लस जियो मेगा सी एंड इफ यू टेक द अंडर रूट ऑफ इट देन दैट गिवस यू द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इम्पिडेंस द मीनिंग ऑफ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इम्पिडेंस इट्स इज द रेशियो ऑफ द वोल्टेज टू करेंट when looking into the network from the input side and having some output load impedance as well so that value of impedance is known as the characteristic impedance of the circuit or of the transmission line now for a symmetrical t network in which there is z1 by 2 z1 by 2 and z2 the value for symmetrical t network it can be calculated and in paucity of time i am not doing the derivation it's equal to square root of z1 by 2 into z1 by 2 which means z1 square by 4 plus of the product of z1 z2 similarly for a pi network you can see in pi network here you will write z1 
because this Z1 by 2 and Z1 by 2, if there are many such networks connected in cascade, you will find the Z1 by 2 of one T network and Z1 by 2 of another T network, they combine together to give you Z1. Similarly, Z2 and Z2 gives you two Z2, which can be split into two uh, Z2, Z2 elements. So here you are having 2Z2, 2Z2 and here you are having Z1. The characteristic impedance of this symmetrical pi network is equal to whatever was for T network that is coming into the denominator and in the denominator you have the product Z1, Z2. So basically for a symmetrical pi network, it's Z1, Z2 over the characteristic impedance of a T network. Now, what does a, basically a filter do? It extracts some of the important frequencies which are required, which are the desirous frequency and leaves behind the other frequency. Thus a filter can extract important and desired frequencies from the signals and leaves behind those which are undesired. What are the various types of filters? In order to understand that, let's take an example. Comprising of a fundamental frequency, the magnitude of which is high and the frequency is low. Then another magnitude which is third harmonic, frequency becomes three times higher. Magnitude is still lesser, one by third of the fundamental. And the last case, one by fifth of the fundamental is the magnitude and the frequency is five times that of the fundamental. When we add these three, we get something like this waveform. Now, if this waveform is passed through various filters, what are the components which are left? What are the components which pass through? That is what we are going to see. Now we apply this to different networks, input of various networks, and we see how the magnitude is changing. First one is low pass filter. So low pass filter means the low frequency passes and the high frequencies are rejected. So whatever is the waveform here, the same appears in the output. This is the input terminal, this is the output terminal. For which the frequency response, here we are having frequency on the x-axis and we are having the amplitude in decibels in the y-axis. We call this amplitude as decibel because we are taking 20 times log of the magnitude, whatever is the amplitude. This is the pass band from 0 to Fc. The cutoff frequency, the signal is passing. Then this is the stop band after Fs completely stopped. And in between Fc and Fs, we find that it's gradually decreasing. This is a practical filter frequency response. If you take an ideal filter frequency response, it would be straight. Horizontal line here, horizontal line here. That's it. So it's a low pass filter. Second one is a high pass filter, which is also known as a sharpening filter. In sharpening filter, we are rejecting this low frequencies. And we are just having the high frequency to pass through. So the fifth harmonic frequency, for example, is passing through it. And if we regard this frequency as a high frequency as compared to the low one, which we, have, we were initially uh, letting it pass through, then the frequency response would be something like this. This is the stop band. This is the pass band. So the signals are going here. And the signal is gradually being stopped for all frequencies lesser than uh, Fs. The third kind of filter is the bandpass filter. In bandpass filter, what happens is for a certain range of frequencies, we allow the waveform to pass through. Greater than that frequency, all the amplitude would be cut off. For lesser than that frequency, it will also be cut off. So here we are having two frequencies f1 and f2. So f1 is the lower cutoff frequency, f2 is the higher cutoff frequency and the difference between them is known as bandwidth. And here we have the resonant frequency f0. Such a kind of filter is known as a bandpass filter. In bandpass filter, 
you can say neither the high frequency, neither the low frequency is going, nor the high frequency is going. Just the middle frequency, this one is going as it is. So it is this waveform which is being seen here. The next one is the notch filter. What happens in notch filter is that we have rejected the medium frequency. Here the medium frequency was coming. Now we have rejected the medium frequency and rest of the frequency that is the low frequency and the high frequency component, they appear as it is in the output. So a combination of these two are appearing in the output. Okay. Here there is a passband corresponding to the lower uh, frequency F1 and here F2 frequency again there is a passband and in between you have the stop band where this frequency F0 is completely being rejected. So these are the four basic kinds of um, filters. There is another filter class of filter which is uh, hardly used as an application that is known as all pass filter. So in an all pass filter basically the whole signal waveform will pass through as it is and the frequency response will be a flat one, completely flat one. For frequency, the magnitude is completely flat one. So this is all about the types of filter. Now we'll do a couple of examples.